Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Bradford City up against West Ham United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. So, the initial 11 for the home side. Well, as you can see, the front two will mostly play together, but there will be times when they split, and that will then allow one of the midfield players to make a forward run between them. He will be a key player for them. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Declan Rice starts alongside Tomas Socek in the centre of midfield. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Crossing possibilities. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Oh, Derek, Stuart. what a great opportunity. But can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Paqueta, Jared Bowen, back to Paqueta, putting his body on the line, tactically quite clear what they're doing, trying to get right on top of their opponents, Paqueta, well he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Cresswell they really look after the ball when they have it it's still alive decent progress with the ball at his feet must be! And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Jared Bowen. What can the Hammers do from this position? Didn't go as a plan in the end. Now, who can he play it to? Takes the shot. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, 
and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Chance to attack using width. Terrific block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. There to win it back. Not a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Oh, this is looking promising. Firing it towards goal! Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. That is that for the first half here. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. giving the ball to the opposition that time a chance maybe from the wide position how about the cross Jamie Walker Good work to deny the opportunity. Let's see about the delivery. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. All the way through to the keeper then. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Adam Clayton. Oliver. Into the final 20 minutes. So making the substitution now. Jamie Walker. Promising possession, this. Please go back and meet the rest of the party at the ticket office. Still passing it around with authority. But then the one that goes astray. Now potential danger. And he's found a bit of daylight. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here?
press well. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, could be. Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Constitution time it is here. And the keeper's hand does the trick. And support available. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And teammates to play it to. He's got to score! And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? West Ham United goal. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.